Oh my god. Can you get him? Hold up. I got him. You want him? Today's story starts out in the 1940s in a basement in Akron, Ohio. There, avid bass angler Nick Cream and his wife Cosma molded the first ever soft plastic worm. They released the bait a few years later in 1949 under the name the Cream Wiggle Worm. The name was eventually changed to the Cream Scoundrel and that bait is still available today. And this year, the Cream Scoundrel turned 70. I thought it would be a fitting birthday present to the first ever soft plastic worm to have a retro bass in old school versus new school challenge. I can really think of no older school bait than the cream scoundrel and honestly no newer school bait than the Guggen Slim Shake. I'm on my way to pick up my buddy Brandon now. We've got a few hours. We're going to do a little uh, trespassing and that's uh, trespassing with a B. We've got a creek in the next neighborhood over and I know there's some nice fish in there. I have until now not been able to catch them, but we've got a, a little bit of time today. I think we might pop a couple. So stick around. It's going to be an old school versus new school challenge. The 70 year old cream scoundrel versus the Guggen Slim Shake right now. So that guy smoked it really shallow. I think he's about as big as yours. And now it's one to one. So the Guggen Slim Shake got one fish. The 70 year old Cream Scoundrel just popped its first fish. No monsters, but I didn't even know if we were going to be fishing today to be totally honest with you. That's actually a fat little creek fish, man. Look at that little belly on that thing. All right, so I'll show you the rig I'm fishing with. This is the original eight inch cream scoundrel worm in the natural color. And you might be wondering what the holy heck this rig is. Before they had plastic worms, the guys used to rig night callers like this. It's got two hooks, two weedless hooks, and this sweet little spinner. So you talk about fishing at old school. <laughs> this is about as old school as it gets. Yeah, there's 100% of small spawning fish still right down there. Oh! 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 Dude, did you get him? Yeah. Oh! 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 You in the? Oh my God! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's a giant fish! Oh my god! Dude, I, I, I don't know what to do. You are so far up this cliff. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh. 
Dude, that is the biggest fish I've seen all day. Oh, can you get... Here. Oh, he got off! Oh! Oh, I probably should have committed a little more on the cliff. But, uh... That was a good fish. Oh, that sucks. That was three-pounder all day. I should have ran over here. We probably should have just planned the whole thing better. We probably be should have. Hey, if you happen to hook a fish, let's go down over that away. <laughs> Nicer fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You got him. Get him, get him, get him! <laughs> Dude, you, you were taking forever. You were just... Oh. That's a pretty one. That is a nice fish. <laughs> got him, finally! Oh. I was, uh... Oh yeah, he's on there. He's on there that time. Pretty fish. But he's all jacked up. Oh my god. You're probably gonna get like a fungus from that. Woo! <laughs> Angry. So, uh, well, I'm glad you got that fish. Uh, I don't know, are you? Are you glad? <laughs> <laughs> Two to one. What's a nice fish? Let's go Guggen. <laughs> Son of a... Oh. Dude. Oh my god. Can you get him? Hold up. I got him. You want him? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That's, that's your baby. That's actually a Guggen fish. Oh, Dude. a Guggen fish. Oh, jeez. That's a Guggen fish. That. We were up there casting for no good reason, by the way. For the, <laughs> there was no good reason for us to be casting out there because we could have casted from here. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Woo. So, here. A couple, oh, uh, boy. A couple tactical errors that I made here. Uh, the first was casting from the top of the bridge. Which was uh, which was pretty silly. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was amazing. The, the second tactical error error was using your bait. I caught this on a Guggen Slim Shake. Yikes! That's three to one for the Guggen. I I needed some weight. It was the only one that had any weight on it, and I threw it out. So that's a nice fish. You took one for the team, man. Um, wow! Got him. Let's let him go. Oh my goodness! That was insane. Well, that's it, Guggen 3 to uh, Cream 1, but it was my own fault. That's like scoring on your own goal. It's like, uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was like the craziest catch I've, I've ever had. I'm walking back to the top of the bridge now. I will show you what kind of shenanigans we were doing. <laughs> we're walking over this bridge, and it's a tall bridge. I mean, I don't know if it's, a hundred feet, but boy, it's every bit of 60. And we're right over Onion Creek where we've been fishing all day. For some reason, um, I thought this would be a good fishing platform. Of course, you uh, <laughs> hook a fish in 60 feet from a bridge on eight pound line. Um, I'll show you this perspective. This is craziness. So here's the, here's the bridge. Here's the cast that I made way down there. Hey, Brandon, step out on the rocks and wave. I wanna see how far down you are. So that's where I caught him. And by the way, there's a big old fish swimming right around there. So there's Brandon. Let's go, Guggen! Oh, you jerk. 
<laughs> so for some reason, so for some reason I decided to cast from up here, which was uh, probably not the best idea. I hooked this fish. He looked like a solid, I don't know, two and a half, three pounder. I'm still so rattling at to watch the footage to see how big he was. But he hooked, got hooked, he started just jumping. And I'm 60 feet in the air, I have no idea what to do. So I started screaming. Uh, I pull him toward the shore. Brandon dives in, takes one for the team. He didn't know it was a Guggen fish, and he still did anyway, so uh, thanks for that. Um, I run down there as quick as I could, and we, and we let him go. Um, why would I do that? Uh. Okay, so we're back in the studio after a couple crazy hours in the creek. I want to talk about the two different baits that we fished and also go a little bit deeper into that 70 year old cream worm. But let's start off with this guy, the Guggen Slim Shake. Look, uh, there's a few folks drinking a little bit of Haterade out there about these guys, but what they've done and the time they've done it is kind of remarkable. This bait itself though, I do fish with these a pretty good bit. I want to talk about this particular one. So the Slim Shake is a sweet little worm. It's a six and a half inch straight tail, which honestly definitely has some old school lines to it. As far as texture, it's super soft. I would say it's definitely softer than the cream, which is potentially a good thing and a bad thing. Um, it definitely moves pretty naturally in the water, but it is prone to get torn up by a couple of fish. Now this bait has some baked in slanch sauce. I'm not actually sure what is in slanch sauce, but I know it smells a little bit like anise. A little bit like crawfish and overall pretty yummy. But I think even the Guggen squab would admit without this bait there will be no such thing as Guggen baits at all. Here we go this is an old school pack of the cream wiggle bait. It comes in a three pack here for 59 cents which is pretty a uh, pretty good deal. World famous live action baits natural looking. Um, original quality wiggle baits doesn't even say scoundrel so this is definitely a, a pretty old pack. So here's an old book from 1975, Tips and Techniques from the Cream Field Staff. And inside, of course, we see the man himself, Mr. Nick Cream. Let's talk about this guy. Developed in 1949, the Cream Scoundrel was definitely built to mimic live night crawlers. And as such, even the rigging at the time was mimicked off the way that folks would fish live night crawlers. That two hook rig you saw me fish with today, pretty similar to the first one that Nick Cream came out with. It wasn't until later in the 1950s that Nick noticed an unusual amount of replacement orders for just the worm from Tyler, Texas. Rumor had it that bass anglers on Tyler Lake, which had a ton of submerged brush, were actually taking the worm and rigging it with a single hook. They would rig it through the head and then bury the hook back into the body of the worm. Of course, today we know this is the standard Texas rig, but by all accounts, it got its start right on Tyler Lake in the 1950s. This style of rigging the bait became so popular that Nick Cream even moved the whole company to Tyler, Texas in 1960, where they're still based today. So what baits appear? The old school 70 year Cream Scoundrel or the Guggen? I don't think we know yet. Look, it is one to three in the challenge of old school versus new school and I think we're gonna have to do a part two on this. So this is Chris and you're watching Retro Bassin. Until next time, subscribe, drop a comment, and definitely Fish it old school.